multiple shelters in Florida were also impacted by Adalia. Many of the shelters were damaged or had reached full capacity. The Jacksonville Humane Society is stepping in to help by relocating hundreds of animals to shelters up north. News for Jacks reporter Aaron Farrar explains their help is critical. 150 dogs and cats, just like the ones you're seeing getting on this bus right now, are heading to shelters specifically in North and South Carolinas. Others will be heading to shelters in Georgia. These precious animals are on their way to new states. Some of the shelters they were at were damaged from this week's hurricane and are heading to other facilities now up north where adoptions are in high demand. Denise Deisler is the CEO at the Jacksonville Humane Society and says this big move also frees up space at other Florida shelters to help pets and their owners who experienced hardship from the storm. Then we have the capacity to respond to those who are hardest hit and already suffering a loss of home, loss of property, potential loss of families. We don't want them to have to be separated from their pets too on top of that. Animals getting on this red bus are en route to shelters in North and South Carolina. Jennifer Guevara is helping with this move. She's with Ferry Friends, which is an animal rescue out of West Palm Beach. Just it warms my heart to know that these animals go from a situation where they're living on the streets, they're hungry, they're homeless, they're sick, and they go somewhere and they get adopted right away. You know, they get different chances, second chances. 25 cats and dogs, just like little Clover here, are heading to shelters either in Georgia or Virginia. They are coming from Halifax Humane Society in Daytona Beach, where Adam Leith is the CEO. That facility was not affected in the storm, but clearing up space there allows them to help 25 new families and their pets who suffered loss from the hurricane. So it allows us to provide even greater opportunity for the pets who are in need in our own community. These different groups hoping all of these furry friends find new and happy homes while also helping those who need it the most. Reporting, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.